David Brewster here with a new episode of 3 for All. This is 3 Joel Hoxter Licks from 2015, and I've had some requests to feature some of Joel's music, and if you're not aware of who this is, Joel Hoxter will melt your face. He's a monster guitarist, and he's been on the scene pretty much, you know, in the 21st century, he's become very active and toured and worked with a whole bunch of different people. And his technique and his phrasing and his playing itself, I mean, just the music that comes out of him, there's all this intensity and conviction and emotion and energy, you know, when you hear him play. And there's lots of shredding and tapping and all this craziness going on. But then also very emotive, melodic phrasing, bending and vibrato and stuff. So if you're not really hip to who Joel Hoxter is, after this lesson, you'll definitely know this player. And I hope you brought your fingers, because you're definitely going to need them in this lesson. There's some crazy stuff flying around. So here we go. As I mentioned, Joel has been on fire in the 21st century. His career has really taken off, you know, in recent years. And he's toured with groups like Whitesnake and Night Ranger, and he toured with Cher and uh, Trans-Siberian Orchestra and a whole bunch of other people. And he's had his own solo project and solo releases too. And he's also written for Guitar World magazine. I think they even released a DVD with some of his ideas. But here's an image with some of the people that Joel has worked with in his career. And I have a feeling he's just getting started. He's a monster. The licks in this lesson from 2015 came from a Whitesnake concert when Joel was touring with Whitesnake, and this would have been on the Purple Album tour, like 2015 to 2016. And Joel was definitely, you know, sharing the guitar duties with Reb Beach, you know, from Winger. And this solo actually started with Reb, and then Joel took over. And if you're a Reb Beach fan, I am going to focus on Reb solo in another episode, you know, following this one. But this episode's gonna, you know, just purely, you know, focus on Joel's ideas and licks, and there's some great ideas flying around for sure. All right, the first lick's this frantic open string hybrid picked idea, and then it ends with this blurry, crazy legato phrase, and we're in G minor, and it's something like this. <laughs> Think of, you know, like G minor pentatonic, like the box, and he starts with this open string kind of hybrid picked, you know, pull-off phrase. It reminds me of a lick that I saw John Petrucci do a long time ago. I think that was on the Liquid Tension Experiment album, but this is a variation of that. But he's doing this really slowly. <laughs> right there and you're literally grabbing that B flat and pulling off the G and then grabbing that D note and then you're reaching over and grabbing the C note pulling that off the G you know the open G and then grabbing that fretted G right there like this so you're kind of alternating right there between that B flat and C and the hybrid picking is actually happening on the G string. I'm picking the D and hybrid picking the G with my middle finger right there like this. Right there after that last little pull off from that B flat, then just basically raise that F to F sharp on the D string like this. And then start the lick again right here. And then you want to end on that B flat. So the first half is... crazy legato sequence. So one more time with the first part. And then you're doing this, and I'm going to go really slow. So you're starting on that A and doing And you're going to do that on the next set of strings. And then do it again right there, like G blues, you know, with the flat five. So really slow. some sequences from Randy Rhodes, but it's different. You know, it's not really a typical Randy Rhodes sequence, but it reminds me of that, like that. And it's very fast, you know, it's very aggressive and, and also very fluid, too. And I would just sit there and just practice that lick over and over. Put both 
those you know licks together and you've got lick number one. <laughs> Up next is the slick, uh, kind of elusive bending idea, and we're in G minor pentatonic, and it's something like this. One more time. And it's a really strange lick because it's basically G minor pentatonic, and he's doing this kind of sidestepping, you know, sequence that's kind of cascading down like this. slow it down like that. So think of the G minor pentatonic box right there and you're gonna start with G to B flat and then you're grabbing this F note and bending that to G and that's where you're hearing that kind of blurry elusive bend that's you know hiding in there. Like that. basically do the same thing on the next set of strings. So you've got this, and then and right there. So really slow. And I really like that cascading kind of gradual, you know, sequence down. It's unusual too. Next up is this terrifying legato shred lick, and I'm gonna play the clip first, and then we're gonna talk about the lick. So here's the clip of Joel just shredding his way through this idea. Okay, that was ridiculous. So let's slow that down and we're gonna watch it again just so you can really see what you know Joel's doing in this lick. It's crazy. It's basically G minor pentatonic, believe it or not, but it's three notes per string in some areas and very stretched out and moving along the fretboard like this. <laughs> crazy and we're basically starting on this B flat and we're grabbing so that's a big stretch you know grabbing that D F and that G note right there and also that B flat like that so you're gonna basically slide into that B flat go up come back down and then go back up again and then you're changing to another position so the first part and then you're moving up to this and grabbing this and grabbing that F note right there and then that C note right here and then ending on G right here and I really like the way he ends that where he goes all the way up to that C note comes back down and grabs that B flat and then bends that to C like that Really cool. Something like this. Really slow. And a little faster. And then full on shred speed. Slick from this footage and it's this crazy hybrid picked kind of arpeggio melodic idea and I tried to learn it and play it the way Joel did in the footage because he's literally it looks like he's just picking one note on the D string and then hybrid picking everything else and it's really smooth and flowing but I couldn't figure out how to do that you know with that technique so I actually just turned it into like a sweet picking exercise but it's something like this <laughs> So 
it's really weird. And I, like I said earlier, I really had trouble kind of putting this together because I couldn't figure out what Joel was doing as far as the hybrid picking. And it looked like, you know, he was picking and also hybrid picking and there's legato in there. So I just literally just kind of revamped the lick to where it made sense for me. And I'm not really a big sweeper, but it did make more sense for me to sweep that than to try to hybrid pick it because it just felt kind of clunky. But uh, we're basically starting right here. <laughs> is E minor right there and we're also grabbing that uh, F sharp and G on the top like that little pivot on the top right. and I literally just did that as one downstroke sweep and then did two hammer-ons from nowhere when I came back down like this right. and that's how I figured out how to do it where it kind of felt you know more comfortable for me because the op the other option would be uh, kind of like what Joel was doing and it's really weird to do this. It just didn't really flow right, you know, from my picking hand. And then do the exact same thing, but now we're going to change that G to an A right here. And then change that A to a B uh, the next time. And then back to that A right there. So that first time... basically a whole step and it's going to kind of shift to uh, D major, kind of implying uh, D7, like this. And right there you can see we're grabbing, uh, you know, that A to F sharp and then A to G and then, uh, or I'm sorry, E to F sharp, E to G and E to that A right there, like this. <laughs> first move but like that and then move down another whole step to C and this is kind of implying like a C sharp 11 um, like this you can see we're grabbing that F sharp right there right like this um, and then right there it's going to move to an implied uh, B7 and we're also flirting with harmonic minor right there like this and right there grab that D sharp and he starts scooching up you know D sharp to E, E to F sharp and then F sharp to A and then bend that A up to B like this. right so really slowly it's like this going to wrap this look at three Joe Hoxter licks from 2015 and a dynamite you know just very impressive player when I saw this solo which I'd seen this footage before but when I watched this guitar solo again you know Rev blew me away and then Joel was on deck and he came out and just completely kicked it you know into overdrive where it was like wow okay you know I mean he was doing all these crazy like tapping licks I'm going to investigate some of those ideas too so I did have a little bit of a struggle you know putting some of these ideas and licks together because he had so much authority and conviction and it was all effortless and smooth. So it's really hard to, to match his, you know, his playing basically to try to mimic some of those ideas. And it's obvious he spent a lot of time practicing and working on some of these, you know, just wicked licks. But, uh, you know, you might have a little bit of trouble, you know, working on some of his ideas because they are a little bit different. 
you know, a little more, you know, spaced out and just flying around the fretboard, especially those tapping licks and that crazy kind of hybrid picked, you know, sweepy thing. You know, really interesting guitarist. So anyway, leave some feedback and comments. Please subscribe to Lunette Lessons, and I'll be back before you know it with more content and material. Thank you.